Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are going to discuss about Cauchy's root test. So in this type of test, we require few terms. So let us first define our all terms. So our first term is u, which is simply a representative of a positive term, any positive term. Now secondly, we have similar term which is known as un this is by this term only you can guess that this is a series of n positive terms series of n positive terms now all we need to do is add these n positive terms so we can do this using the summation so this is summation of un now this is sum of n positive terms now we also require few more terms such as n and we have r so let us represent them here we will have uh, n we have already noted down which is total number of positive terms we have m we have r whereas m is any another a uh, positive number and r is a number but r has a condition that this r should be independent of n we have considered r to be a number which is independent of n so using this we have the form we have the general form of cauchy's root test which is here we will have summation of u n here summation of u n as we as, as i have said it is a series of positive numbers for summation of u n our condition is if this is root over u n and n which is also representable as u n to the power 1 by n here u n is the total number of n terms and positive terms and power is 1 by n so if this is less than equal to r r we have considered here should be independent of n any positive number and r should also be less than 1 okay so here we have r is can be or cannot be a positive number here we have positive or negative we have not said anything about r so r the only condition of r is it should be independent of n so here we have root uh, u n to the power 1 by n less than equal to r less than 1 and this condition is also here we have an, another condition so here we, the second condition is n should be greater than equal to m here as you have seen n is the total number of positive terms and m also a positive number so n that is the total number of terms should be greater than the considered m term so for this we will have that the summation of u n is convergent if this condition these this condition is satisfied here we have this condition is satisfied and similarly this should also be satisfied then we will have summation of u n is convergent but if these conditions are not satisfied for example let this not be less than r or uh, less than 1 so the another condition can be u n greater than equal to 1 because you, you can see here here we have less than r less than 1 so the another simultaneous condition can be greater than 1 so for this condition we will have exactly opposite of this so this will be u n is divergent so basically this is the main uh, system of this Cauchy's root test and we have few more conditions so let us move on to them now if we have here the second condition if n root over u n less than r as i have written here if here i have written u n to the power 1 by n less than r if this condition is true when simultaneously we should have n greater than equal to m as you can see here simultaneous condition then we will have u n is less than equal to r n again this condition should be satisfied you can note this down very easily because here we, i have written n 
root over u n less than equal to r. So this can also be represented as u n to the power one by n less than equal to r. So if we if we take both sides to the power n, we will get u n to the power one less than equal to r to the power n. So this is what I have written here u n less than equal to r to the power n. So this is the condition. If this is true, hence this always will be true for n greater than equal to m. This condition should always be satisfied. That is the total number of positive terms should be greater than the considered m term. So here is our basic terms. Now we have one more system in this one more type of because a theorem is used in many different types of sums. So we have many conditions for a single test. So if r is greater than equal to zero less than one as you can see here r is less than one here so if z r belongs to zero to one then we will have summation of this will be summation of r to the power n is convergent as you can see if this is this is less than if this is convergent and for this only only for this condition then we will have r to the power n will also be convergent from here because this is this value is always less than r to the power n hence r to the power n will also be convergent comparing our summation of u n with r n we come to know that u n is also convergent So this implies that summation r to the power n will also be convergent. But if this condition is not implied, if this condition is not true, if all these conditions are not true, this condition is not true, and here we will have this. The further con condition is u n greater than equal to one, as you can see here, greater than equal to one. In this term, you can see that u n to the power one by n. Is less than one. So for this condition, we have u n convergent. So if it is greater than one, here we will have greater than one. Our u n is completely greater than one. We will take one to the power one by n, which also gives one. Hence, u n will be greater than one, and n greater than equal to one. As always in our every condition, n greater than equal to one. Therefore, we will have summation of u n is divergent. Since here we will have uh, greater than equal to one. Therefore, u n is also greater than equal to one. Therefore, summation u n is also divergent. So basically, these some these theorems will help us solve sums. Like we will be given few tests, like an equation. For example, we have an equation two plus two square by two square plus two cube by three cube plus two to the power four plus by two to the four to the power four. Plus dot dot dot. It will go on. So for this, we need to test the series. If we want to test the series, it can be done very easily. So let us do one example. Let us solve this example only. So we need to test this series. Test the series. Question sum. Question comes in this form only. Test the series, and we will be given a series here, and we need to test whether it is convergent or divergent. So let us note down u n. Here you can see we have two to the power n by n. Here we will have two to the power one by one to the power one. Here it is two to the power two by two to the power n by n to the power n, where n is equal to two. Here we have n equal to two. Here we will have two to the power n by three to the power three. Here n will be equal to three. So on. So our u n can be written as two to the power n by n to the power n. You can see whenever you put any value in place of n. For example, u1. So this will be 2 to the power 1 by 1, or u2. So this will be 2 to the power 2 by n to the power n means 2 to the power 2. So you can see each one of these terms can be obtained by 2 to the power n by n to the power n. So this is the value to our u to the power u n. Now our equation, as you must remember, as I told, it will be u n to the power 1 by n. So this will be equal to 2 by n to the power n, and this is root n. So this can also be written as 2 to the power. Okay, here we will have n to the power n by 2 n to the power n. This will be n to the power n whole to the power 1 by n. 
so you can see in terms we have 1 by n and in powers we have n n so these both a n's will get cancelled out we are left with 2 by n so in this 2 by n you can see that 2 by n will always be less than 1 2 by n cannot be greater than 1 because our n value here you can see our n value starts from 1 and goes till infinity but our numerator value is fixed which is 2 which is much lesser value hence the total value will give us less than 1 you may ask if what if the value of n is equal to 1 or 2 so in these both the conditions this statement is not true so we need to note that n should be greater than equal to 3 as if n is equal to 1 we will have a value 2 which is greater than 1 and if n is equal to 2 we will have a value 1 which is equal to 1 but not less than 1 so our condition n greater than equal to 3 should also be true so you must be remembering in our theorem here we had two individual conditions first is un should be greater than equal to 1 second also we have n should be greater than equal to m where m is not fixed but n we have the value so m we can consider any value so in this sum let's consider m's value to be equal to 3 so if we consider here our 2 by n which is the value of un so 2 by n is less than 1 here we will have 2 by n is less than 1 when n is greater than equal to 3 so you can see both the conditions for convergent is true hence our answer will be un here we will have summation not only un but the total summation un is convergent in this way you need to solve these sums where you can get less than 1 or greater than 1 whereas n should be greater than equal to m and m can be any positive integer. So if this these conditions are true you can say that summation of u n is convergent and if not true we can say that u summation of u n is divergent. So basically this was Cauchy's root test. So you can proceed with the uh, infinite series sums using this test and simply get to the solution. So thank you for watching.